All right, welcome back everyone. Zaf here for another Soul Loving Rise video. For today, we have an issue here with my buddy, my pal Wu. Oh gosh, I've been reading the man while he's. You know what? I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna leave it there. We're here with Wu. We're doing an investigative piece right now because a lot of the player base cannot log in. If you're located, I think, in Europe West, in the UK specifically, you cannot play the game, and Netmarble has not addressed this issue, and I've gotten a ton of messages so far, on top of a lot of messages in the forums as well, kind of asking us to bring light towards this issue. It's been about three days now, where you can't log in, you can't play the game, you can't do your dailies. That's pretty harsh. I know for me, if I forget to maybe get a reward, forget to use my keys, I get pretty upset. I'm like, darn it, lost those rewards. So imagine if you're trying to log in and you can't, you can't log in, you can't play. Here you go, UK connection issue. There is a fix for it though. And also real quick, a big congrats to David C again. Oh my goodness, this is three times now. Here is your shout out to yet again and enjoy your very exclusive Discord role but I still don't see any notices from their marble, so no recent connection issue notice. So those players are in the dark. That's why I wanted to make this video, again, shedding light on the situation. I'm hoping this will bring the issue to that marble because it is the weekend, so I don't know if they checked the forms or if support is active then. I think they might not be, so hopefully they fix it though, because imagine you can't play for the weekend as well. That's five days total, but there is good news for the UK connection issue. If you can't play right now, and for anyone else, if you're having connection issues to the server you're on, you can actually fix it. So what you have to do is use a VPN, and don't worry, this is not like a VPN ad. I don't I don't have any sponsorships, but actually, go to my link down below. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No link. You can use a VPN. Um, I don't really recommend any, just do your research. I know there's popular ones, you can use um, Nord, but that's paid. I think there's Tunnelbear VPN, that's a free one, but again, no affiliation. I don't know if they're good, don't know if it's a virus or what, no idea. The only virus we have is the Zaf virus here, so that's an option. You can see UK connection issue, people are having this issue going on for quite some time now. So the compensation, like what can they provide? Three days of no gameplay? That's pretty harsh. Now, I don't think they should give everyone the reward for compensation, only those affected. How will they know? Good question. I'm not too sure. I guess they could give everyone the rewards. We can see here. Wow. Seven comments already. Let's see anything here. Experiencing the issue. Um, yeah, people are mad right now. Within good reason. They should be mad. Oh, actually, we have uh, someone random here. That's pretty funny. I saw his post. Yeah, he can't play. I actually had to uh, help him out with his dailies. That's who he's talking about. So I went on his account, helped him out with his dailies. He's in my guild, so I didn't want to leave him hanging. There were some other people as well. I should have went on their accounts too. I don't mind helping out, but anyways. I have to message him and tell him to use a VPN. Uh, that should fix the issue. So I'll message him after, random if you're watching. I got you, buddy. But yeah, very annoying. Hopefully to fix it again. You know, I make these videos to spread awareness. These videos only benefit me, so, you know, just using my channel for what it should be used for. But one other issue I have been seeing, um, I don't have too much context about it. I've seen it posted a few times now. Let me see if I can find it here. This one right here, ongoing issue of the workshop of Brilliance Light. So basically what the issue is, I'm Ali here, or Al, sorry if I got that wrong. They have an issue of the top 1,000 clear lists, basically. Them and a few other four members have actually managed to be hard mode. And I'm assuming, you know, I'm gonna give them benefit of the doubt. They've beat it within two to seven hours after. And if you recall with my clear, I'm on the list. I beat it within, I believe, 10 hours or so from the update. I didn't take the whole 10 hours. I think it took me around six hours or so. It was a tough paddle in the beginning. Hard mode is nerfed, but anyways. So they have an issue being publicly accused of cheating because Netmarble flagged their accounts. Again, I don't have much context here, but going down here, looking at their account, they are very well suited to beat hard mode Vulcan, so I highly doubt they would cheat. I mean, look at their accounts. Why would anyone of the stature cheat? Does it make sense? Something the system probably flagged them again right here. It looks like Spade as well. They had an issue with their account being flagged. Support replied. Let's see here. We understand you're not among the 1000 list. Unfortunately, able to provide further details. Interesting. If you have concerns, we're happy to assist you. So yeah. You know, it's unfortunate. Imagine whaling, imagine being the boss, and you're not getting credited for it. And oh my goodness, I could be wrong, but is that close to, what, 
10,000 summons, so honestly, chat, I mean, if someone has 10,000 summons, there's no way they're going to cheat in this game. It, that, it's just unfathomable. It's just not possible. I can't believe it. Something the system got flagged, too much damage, a glitch, some lag. I've actually had people message me saying, Zaf, I spawned into a boss and I cleared it instantly. I didn't do anything. The boss just died and I'm like, uh-oh, you know, what can you do? The shield is strong in this game. That being the Hunter Association shield, I believe that's what it's called, basically bot or hack detection. If you get caught by it, that's basically it. Support generally can't help you out too much. You'll be banned for a week, 30 days, your scores will be removed, you'll lose access to any rewards, so... I don't know, in this case, it's kind of harsh, I feel bad. I really feel bad if what they're saying is accurate, but I'll tell you right now, I believe them. I truly do. The only thing I can assume is maybe someone went on their account at some point, account sharing, VPN, stuff like that, not sure. I really don't know, but again, I will trust them benefit of the doubt i'm hoping anyone who actually cleared it will get the rewards because well imagine working hard and they actually said they summoned to beat floor 25 they summoned i think alicia yeah, yeah literally rage summoned for dimensional advancements on alicia to beat floor 25 so yeah not much i can say there hopefully they look into it and that marvel does i want anyone who deserves it to get the reward just to be fair but other than that let's see is there any ongoing issues here that's the workshop one connection issue so again if you have the connection issue use a vpn uh one thing i have been seeing i think pain covered it as well um nerfed rates in the workshop for billing today actually we talked about it in the podcast today um <laughs> i don't know if i agree there is a bit of confirmation bias where you do a run and then if you don't get the right pulls, the right drops, you'll be like, darn it, they nerfed it. I'm not saying that's what it is in this case. Um, You know, you have to do so many tests with this. You have to do hundreds, if not thousands of tests to really figure out what the drop rates are. I mean, I complain about artifacts, upsets, not getting the ones I need. It's clearly rigged, right, chat? But, you know, confirmation bias. Some people get good rates, some people get bad. My summons are bad, other people's are good. You know, it's all about the RNG. Unless we have a huge sample size, it's hard to say whether something is nerfed. Here you go, another one. Healing speed for gems. Tier 4 gems are a pain. I also got terrible ones before when starting out, but I finally got good ones. So again, in the beginning, confirmation bias. I was like, darn it, devs, they nerfed the rates for the good ones. But later on, I got the good ones. So hard to say what it's like. We need a huge sample size. If you took stats, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, so game state is in a bad state. Uh-oh. Issues with patches, artifact enhancements. BOT is bad. If you're paid to win, enjoy your loot. True, that's honestly true. But some people do have superior skill that can make them actually go ahead of paid to win players. POD, why bother? Same thing. You don't pay, you don't get proper rewards. So some fair points here. I want to see what the comments say about this. Let me see. Do you enjoy anything in the game? You know, you're playing for 100 days, stuff like that. So, yeah, I guess a lot of people aren't really agreeing with these posts. But some people are. I'm a whale. I fear you're right. Free play players will leave. Then pay to win will follow. Yeah, it's been a tough balance, you know? Devs, if you're listening... Oh, wait, this is random again. Random's always speaking facts. What's going on? So, Netmarble, if you're listening, you need to add a fair play mode. I know this doesn't go for your profits. You do need whales to support the server, but if there was a fair play mode where everyone had the same loadout, I think that could be fun. But you have to remember this game is pretty new right now. So one thing I do have a gripe with is games that are too easy, but I know some people say this game is too hard. That's totally reasonable. It is in some aspects, of course. Totally agree with you. But if you think about it in the long-term aspect, it's kind of good to have harder content to basically aim towards if everything is easy to do, all you're doing is logging in, doing the content right away, and just logging out. There is no sense of achievement, but that is ignoring all the other glaring issues, some content being way too hard to even be feasible for free-to-play, artifact luck contributing to a bad gameplay experience, a lot of issues, chat. We can't just say one thing is good, one thing is bad, deal with it, etc. No, 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 that's not how it works. We have to look at the grand scheme. There is a lot of issues. There is still a lot of good, but there's still a lot of bad. You know, Netmarble's working on it. The game is 100-ish days old, 130 if you count the uh, beta access. Oh, actually 140, I'm pretty sure by now. We just have to let the devs cook a little bit more. Then we can get a good sense. The 100th day celebration is coming out. Sorry, not 100th day. No, I think it is 100th day. That should be coming out. So we just have to see what that's like. 
But yeah, let's hope the UK server issues get fixed. A lot of people can't play. Three days is a very long time. Hoping for the best. But yeah, do drop a like if you enjoyed. And also subscribe for more Soul of Rise content. And leave a comment what you think. Should there be any changes? Are you having connection issues? Do let me know. This was Zaf signing out.